Hello everyone, today we are going to show you a mock IELTS speaking test, but wait, we are going to do it a little differently. Here, we are going to ask our candidates some questions and the candidate will give initially the wrong answers. Then I'm going to step in and explain what was wrong and how you should have ideally improved it. Sounds interesting? So let's begin. But before we do that, do subscribe to IELTS Ninja. Well, now let's move to the third part of the test. I'll be asking you a series of questions which I want you to discuss in detail. So let's start with the first question. What are the advantages of strong family relationships? Well, having a strong family relationship is really good. It helps you in life. Oops, the candidate give a very general answer. To do well in part three, you need to give specific examples and explain them in detail. Now, let's see how she should have answered this question. Well, in my opinion, the main advantage of strong family relationships is that they provide emotional support during tough times. For example, when a family member is going through a difficult situation like a health issue or job loss, the other family members can provide encouragement and motivation. This helps a person to stay positive and overcome the challenge. Thank you. Now let's move to the next question. How many generations are usually living under one roof in your country? In my country, there are usually three to four members of the family living together. Father, grandfather, uh, great grandfather. That's a great way of to stay connected. Oh no, the candidate used the wrong vocab. Instead of saying generations, she has used this phrase members of the family now let's see how she could have answered this question using the appropriate vocabulary well uh, in my country it's common for extended families to live together which means grandparents parents children and sometimes even aunts and uncles all living under one roof this arrangement can have both its advantages and disadvantages interesting what are the benefits and drawbacks of a family of several generations living together? Well, the drawbacks are that sometimes it can be crowded and noisy. Also, different generations may have different opinions and ideas, which can lead to a lot of conflicts. Oh dear, the candidate only mentioned the drawbacks and forgot to mention the benefits. See, in order to get full marks, you need to give a more balanced answer. Now let's see how she could have answered this question. One benefit of having multiple generations living together is that children can learn from their elders. For example, they can learn about their family's history, traditions and values. This can help them develop a strong sense of identity and belonging. Additionally, having several generations under one roof means that there is always someone to take care of the children. So, parents can have some free time to pursue their own interests. Alright, now to the final question. Do both parents have equal responsibility in taking care of their children? Yes, both parents have equal responsibilities in taking care of their children. It's important for them to share the workload and responsibilities. That means that both the parents should contribute equally to all the responsibilities. It also means that both parents should be involved in making decisions about the children by sharing the responsibilities, both parents can become more responsible. Well, see, the candidate kept repeating the same words again and again, and it's important to use a variety of vocabulary and sentence structures when it comes to IELTS. Now, let's see how she could have answered the question. Well, in my opinion, it's important for both the parents to share the responsibilities of taking care of the children. This means that both parents should contribute equally to the activities such as feeding, bathing and playing with the children. It also means that the parents should be involved in making decisions about the child's education, health and overall well-being. By sharing the responsibilities, both parents can bond with their children and build strong relationships that last a lifetime. Well, folks, that's how it's done. We hope this mock test gave you some insight into what not to do in the part three of IELTS speaking test. Remember to be more specific, use appropriate vocabulary and mention both sides of the argument, like both advantages and disadvantages if you're asked and 
try as far as possible to vary your language. Good luck with your IELTS examinations. And before we sign off, don't forget to subscribe to IELTS Ninja and like and share this video.